Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be comparing my NHL 2019 Stanley Cup playoff predictions to the final tournament. The 2019 Stanley Cup playoffs have come to an end with the St. Louis Blues winning the Stanley Cup. So how close was I with my final predictions? Was I right or was I wrong? Watch till the end to find out. The 2019 NHL playoffs were a very interesting one, and honestly, a pretty entertaining one. We saw a lot of different upsets, a lot of different winners that we haven't seen in the past. And when it comes to the 2019 NHL playoffs, again, a lot of that was unpredictable, but by the end, I was pretty surprised by my final result. Now we're going to start out in the first round on the Western Conference side of things. With the first series in that Western Conference, we had the Nashville Predators versus the Dallas Stars. And some of you guys know I'm a Dallas Stars fan. I wanted the win, but I didn't really predict that to happen. I had the Nashville Predators winning in six, but of course the Dallas Stars ended up winning in six to my surprise. Even though I am a Dallas Stars fan, again, I didn't predict that kind of upset to happen. While Nashville, I don't think, was this Goliath that some people were making them out to be, I didn't see the Dallas Stars winning them by any means and going out into the second round. That would have been a pipe dream at the start of the playoffs, but it ended up happening, thanks to John Klingenberg especially, and it ended up happening, which is the most important part. Now on to the next Western Conference series, that being the St. Louis Blues versus the Winnipeg Jets. When it comes to my prediction, I predicted the St. Louis Blues to win in six games, and they did just exactly that. First, the Winnipeg Jets, they got it done in six games in the first round, and then to the second round. Now, I really didn't see Winnipeg being too strong in that first round. I didn't really have a great feeling about them, but I had a pretty solid feeling about the St. Louis Blues, especially in that first round, and it ended up paying off. Now on to the next first round Western Conference matchup, we have the San Jose Sharks versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, when it comes to my prediction of this series, I have the Vegas Golden Knights winning in seven games. And that would have happened if that Cody Eakin major didn't happen, but in the end, the San Jose Sharks end up getting down it done in seven games. In that seventh game, in that overtime, they got it done. They won versus the Vegas Golden Knights. And of course, we got the whole controversial play right there. Again, I was really, really close on that if the refs actually got that right. Now going on to the last Western Conference matchup, and it's between the Calgary Flames and the Colorado Avalanche. And this one looks pretty good on my end if I'm going to look back on it, because with the final result, the Colorado Avalanche ended up winning this series in five, and I predicted the Colorado Avalanche to win this series in seven. I don't think there are many people that really saw Calgary losing in the first round, but I did. When it comes to that series, I thought the weakness for Calgary was going to be their goaltending, but if anything, their goaltending was the strongest part of that series. So in a way, I was wrong at that point, but I did suspect that the Colorado Avalanche would reach out and actually go over the Calgary Flames, just barely in seven games, but I thought they would get it done. Now, five games, I didn't even expect that anyway, but when it comes to the Calgary Flames, I expected the collapse, and it actually did happen. Now, going on to the Eastern Conference first round matchups, and for the first one, we have the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Columbus Blue Jackets. In the first round, I suspected the Tampa Bay Lightning would win that series in six. I gave Columbus a little bit of a leeway on that series, maybe win a couple of games there, but of course, we all know what ended up happening. The Tampa Bay Lightning ended up getting sweeped in that first round series. Columbus moving on to the second round. Again, something that not a lot of people expected, certainly not me. And again, I gave Columbus a lot more wins than I think a lot of other people did. I thought Tampa would have a pretty Solid series as well, but I saw Tampa moving on to the second round basically like everybody else. Now on to the next Eastern Conference first round matchup between the Toronto Maple Leafs and the Boston Bruins. And when it comes to this series, I have the Toronto Maple Leafs winning this series in six. I thought it was the Toronto Maple Leafs here to get past the Boston Bruins. Finally, but of course we all know what ended up happening. The Boston Bruins again in game seven end up winning game seven and advancing on to the second round where of course it would go on to the Stanley Cup final. But when it came to that series again, Toronto had a chance to win it in game six on home ice. They could have done that, but of course we all know what ended up happening. They don't win it and they don't win it in game seven, which was the biggest choke job pretty much of all time. On to the next first round Eastern Conference matchup, we had the Washington Capitals versus the Carolina Hurricanes, and this series was just a toss up in my opinion. I could have gotten either Washington or Carolina, I was honestly either or, either or team had a great chance to win it. I ended up bringing the Washington Capitals to win in seven games, and of course we all know what happened there, the Carolina Hurricanes ended up winning in seven games and advancing on to the second round, but again, I wasn't really ashamed of that pick because I kind of wanted it to happen. Carolina going over the Washington Capitals, I think he's a fantastic story, and again, it was a close series, just like I predicted. Now on to the last Eastern Conference first round matchup. We had the New York Islanders versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. And this series uh, did uh, not go my way, really. When it came to my prediction, I had the Pittsburgh Penguins uh, winning in five games. And 
We all know what happened with the New York Islanders. They ended up winning in four games. And just basically steamrolling all on top of Pittsburgh. Every single game paid pretty much at that point. And when it came to the New York Islanders again, I really didn't expect that from them in the first round. When it came to the Pittsburgh Penguins, I thought they would have a little bit of a rejuvenation in the first round. They were looking pretty solid towards the end of the season. And I thought, oh boy, the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to go on that one again just because I can't have good things. That was basically what I was thinking. That we're just going to have a depression first round. So I was going with the Pittsburgh Penguins, but I'm very glad the New York Islanders end up winning and advancing on to the second round. The Western Conference, the first matchup we had was the Dallas Stars versus the St. Louis Blues in real life. We all know what ended up happening there as a Dallas Stars fan. It's uh, it's still not fun to look back. Pat Maroon ended up winning an overtime in Game 7 in the second round again, and that's just where all the nightmares begin to go. But when it came to my prediction of that second round, I had the National Predators versus the St. Louis Blues. In that series, I had the Blues going in five games, advancing to the Western Conference Final. So in my prediction, I had St. Louis moving on, and in real life, they do the same thing. Now going on to the other second round matchup in the Western Conference, I had the Colorado Avalanche versus the Vegas Golden Knights. Now in real life, the San Jose Sharks and the uh, Colorado Avalanche ended up facing off. They went to seven games and the San Jose Sharks ended up advancing to the Western Conference Final. But in my predictions, it was Colorado versus Vegas. And in that prediction series, I had the Vegas Golden Knights winning in five games. And that means that it would be Vegas versus St. Louis in the Western Conference Final in my made up world. Now moving on to the Eastern Conference Final Round 2 matchups, and for my prediction matchup, I had the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now Tampa is my second favorite team, Toronto is my fourth favorite team, so I would love that series to death, but in the real world it ended up being Boston versus the Columbus Blue Jackets, Boston winning in six games. When it came to my made-up prediction world, I had the Toronto Maple Leafs winning that series in six games. Honestly, I thought Tampa would collapse in the playoffs, just not as early as they did. Again, I kind of think Tampa Tampa this next year is their year to actually win the cup. I didn't think they were actually going to get it done this year. I did not see them losing the first round of Columbus, though, and especially not in a sweep. Moving on to the last second round matchup in the Eastern Conference Final, and in my prediction world, I had the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Washington Capitals. When it came to the real life, we had a completely different series in the Carolina Hurricanes and, of course, the New York Islanders. Now, in my prediction world, Pittsburgh versus Washington, I had the Pittsburgh Penguins getting a little bit of revenge on the Washington Capitals from last year, winning in seven games this time and advancing to the Eastern Conference Final. When it came to real life, of course, the Islanders versus the Carolina Hurricanes, the Hurricanes ended up getting a four-game sweep, again, something that nobody really predicted. Moving on to the Western Conference Final in the 2019 NHL Playoffs, I had the St. Louis Blues and the Vegas Golden Knights facing off in the Western Conference Final. Of course, in real life, we had the St. Louis Blues versus the San Jose Sharks, which was a very entertaining series as well. But when it came to my made-up prediction world in the Western Conference Final, Vegas, San Jose, St. Louis, I had the St. Louis Blues actually winning that series in six games, advancing to the Stanley Cup Final for the first time in a long, long time. When it came to real life, of course, the St. Louis Blues and doing the same, advancing the Stanley Cup final over San Jose in six games. Moving on to the Eastern Conference Final. In my prediction world, I had the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Pittsburgh Penguins facing off in the Eastern Conference Final. Yeah, my Eastern Conference predictions were, uh, not that great, not gonna lie to you guys, but in my prediction world, I had the Toronto Maple Leafs winning that series in six games, advancing the Stanley Cup Final for the first time since 1967. In real life, of course, we had the Boston Ruins versus the Carolina Hurricanes. Boston, of course, ended up sweeping the Carolina Hurricanes in four games. When it came to my hypothetical world, though, I liked that a lot more, and especially Toronto winning and going on to the Stanley Cup Final, I like that. Unfortunately, Boston has to ruin everything. Of course they do. So, of course, the Stanley Cup Final in my prediction world, I had the St. Louis Blues versus the Toronto Maple Leafs. In real life, we had the Boston Ruins versus the St. Louis Blues for an epic rematch of 1970. And when it comes to this whole spiel, when it comes to my predictions, I'm just going to let Pascrav take it away. And when I ended up making this bracket between the St. Louis Blues and the Toronto Maple Leafs, I was going back and forth. Should I vote on Toronto? Should I vote on St. Louis? It was really a tough one to predict. But in the end, I think it will be a close series. It will go six games, but the winner in the end will be the St. Louis Blues. Okay, so you watched that clip. Now you are here. Never doubt my wizardry again. That's right, I predicted the St. Louis Blues, this team right here, to win the 2019 Stanley Cup Final. And I 
and I'm just a wizard. I will now retire from my craft now. Obviously, I'm kidding. But let's just not mention my Eastern Conference final because uh, uh, that's not good whatsoever. If we can go more in the Western Conference where the St. Louis Blues are predicted to win the cup, they actually end up getting it done. You know, that's a lot better in my opinion. When it came to the St. Louis Blues especially, I think they kind of had a little bit of a 2016 Pittsburgh Penguins magic. I mean, yes, Pittsburgh had won the cups in the past, but when it comes to St. Louis, I don't think anybody was really expecting them. Kind of like the 2016 Pittsburgh Penguins and an epic rookie goaltender who led them all the way to the Stanley Cup final and to eventually win the cup and win the entire thing. So I think it was pretty similar stories right there. I think it was the magic, especially for the St. Louis Blues. Playing Gloria is just about a great time right about now. So to anyone that wants to doubt my prediction magic, I just want to say I told you so, and also, I told you so. I predicted the 2019 Stanley Cup winner for the 2019 NHL playoffs, and I will die on that hill, and it will be my biggest achievement of my entire lifetime. But of course, with this video, I need to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comments down below. So, let me know what you think about my 2019 Stanley Cup playoff predictions. Were you surprised I was actually right? And of course, the big question on to you, how do your playoff predictions look? Were you right or were you wrong? But, if you guys want some more grand videos just like this one, you can click on this card right here to watch my NHL season predictions and how they hold up now. But, that'll be it for today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Comment down below, of course, your thoughts on my predictions and how your predictions hold up. And I'll see you guys next video or stream. Goodbye.